Okay, next up for unboxing is an XFX uh, Radeon R9 380, 4GB uh, with the dual dissipation cooler. Um, it is the Triple X edition. Yes, the Double D Triple X. XFX still showing off the fact that it has come from 3DFX where only boob jokes are the best jokes. Um, it has four extended heat pipes, maximum cooling, minimum noise. It's got dual 90 millimeter fans. On the side of the box, you can see it just says Radeon 380 again. On the back, what's in the box? What's in the box? We've got an R9 380 installation disc, throw it in the garbage can, quick installation guide, driver disc. Wait, installation disc and a driver disc? What? No, driver disc installation guide. Oh, how to put the disc in the slot. Uh, you get a warranty guide and you get a two top, yeah, you get two four pin and six pin power cables, which are Molex to graphics card connectors. On the outputs of the graphics card, you get two DVI, one HDMI, and one display port. Two, you have two DVI, one is DVI-I, one is DVI-D. DVI-I obviously carries analog for VGA and digital, and the other one is just digital. That's what D means. Features, PCI Express 3.0, DirectX 12, bullet physics engine, that doesn't mean anything, AMD Ifinity, AMD GCN next gen compute architecture, if you ever want to compute on these, uh, bitcoins and such, power tune, second gen real time speed optimization, OpenGL 4.4 and OpenCL 1.2, soon to be known as Vulkan, AMD HD 3D, stereoscopic 3D ready with a... Uh, 4 after it. There's these little little numbers over there. Uh, 4K resolution support. I wouldn't run games at it. Zero core technology. If you run these in Crossfire, one of them will shut off. Blu-ray 3D support. And they do support cross-firing. Cross-firing? They, they just sit in their computer and shoot at each other. So yeah, so they support Mantle, GCN, PowerTune, and Zero Core. I think I've explained everything but PowerTune. Basically, uh, PowerTune is their form of NVIDIA's like downclocking, upclocking utility thing that runs in the background on the cards, or runs in the BIOS on the cards, I mean. On this side, you get the same stuff. And this time, I've also taken the tape off. Woo! Because... Oh, yeah, it's FXX, what are you... FXX! Ah, Okay, the Be Quiet box and the XFX box need to trade um, designs. Because <laughs> XFX needs to stop doing drawer designs, I hate those. Quick install guide. Plug in the slot. Uh, driver disc. Now, check these. They usually don't have anything good on them except for testing programs, and those are actually kind of nice. Usually it's like, um, I don't know. They, they have benchmarking programs on them sometimes. Driver CD install guide. I kind of want to look at this. Oh, it's how to install drivers, not how to install the disk. That's hilarious. Okay, never mind. Uh, you get a bl oh solid black. Look at that. They're doing better than be quiet. <laughs> solid black Molex to six pin power adapter cables. Two of them. And then you get the graphics card itself because XFX doesn't ever give you anything extra. They don't give you stickers or anything. That's not how they roll. Uh, you get a garbage bag. And inside said garbage bag, which I only have one hand, is the graphics card. Ooh, with plastic. Let's try and peel that. I don't know where it starts. Where does it start? Where does it start? There's got to be an easy edge. XFX, what is this? How am I supposed to do this? I'm not a lefty, dang it. Yep, I got it. I think I got it. Oh, it tore. Let's stop for a second here. XFX. Why? First off, is that two pieces of plastic? Second off, well, I think I know why it's two pieces of plastic. I think this is actually this is 
Yeah, there's a separation here. These are actually two different things. Um, second off, why would you make it sticky? Like, come on, I can't even... What the? It's just stretching. I've never seen this. I wish I had my tripod to have two hands right about now. Got it. Okay, black on black, that's not gonna work. There we go, higher contrast. So this is the XFX uh, Double D Triple X Cooler from XFX. The XFX Double D XXX. The only time in three, R9390. The only time that you can name your whole graphics card with letters and numbers and never say an actual name. So here we've got your fans and sorry I'm poking around. This is something that struck my eye. Is that there's these like fake screws on here but there's these little like pop clips. I want to know what the heck Oh, the fans are replaceable. What the heck? So look at this. Look, the, this shroud pops out. But I was thinking like, oh, you get to get some colors and put it around there. No, the whole fan is replaceable in one clump. Okay. Well, that is this style of cooler from XFX. Um, expect possibly your fans to go out and you to be able to hot swap them. I don't even know. I don't even want to know. XFX does things like this. You can see the four heat pipes on top. There is no back plate. There are many screws around the edges because it's used for other coolers, assuming that those are being used for other back plates. Um, you can listen to the neighbors dragging their mufflers across the ice in the parking lot. Here's the bottom of the cooler you can see that it is actually pretty dang close to the board and here is the back of the graphics card this is the part where you actually do stuff with um, there's your DVI-I in the top left corner DVI-D in the bottom left you get a display port and you get a HDMI So there you go, that is an unboxing of the XFX XXXWD R9 380, no X, the X is the exact same card, with hot swappable fans. Yeah, whatever, it's powerful and it's good. Okay, have a good day and I will see you guys next time.